The realization that commuters and tourists alike could be forced to pay a steep toll to cross Mobile Bay and the Mobile River is getting a lot of attention. Tonight, there's also a looming realization that the long talked about and planned project might not get done at all. News 5's Bill Riles has been investigating. In our On the Street survey, opinions about a $3 to $6 toll on the proposed Mobile Bay Bridge and Bayway project are split among local people. If that means less traffic getting, uh, getting home to Bowen County, I certainly would. We, do, we don't need to pay a toll for a bridge. Among tourists. But it probably wouldn't stop me from coming. Well, I don't believe you should have to stop and pay for stuff that maybe the state or somebody should pay for. But there is clear opposition to the toll from a Facebook group created by State Auditor Jim Ziegler to a radio campaign by the Common Sense Campaign. We have one question. Who will profit from the Mobile River Bridge Project? Dr. Lou Campomenosi is president of the group. We're in the position here of, of, of defending the people against a, a really ridiculous toll that's unfair given what's going on in the rest of the state. No tolls in Birmingham, nothing in Huntsville. And because of the pushback, there's a chance the project could go away altogether. That's according to someone who's worked on the project almost since its inception, State Senator Chris Elliott. So this is what they've come up with. Now that the question is going to be, um, how do we go forward from here? And is it acceptable? And again, if it's not, no build is still an option. But Campo Minosi says with the consortium Consortium's bidding on the project. There's just too much money and political power at play to stop it. Because you think they're going to railroad it through? They, they, no they what. will exactly. I think there are enough people who want this. That's because of some simple math. From the 2.1 billion dollars put up by the winning consortium to build it, with the tolls, the return on investment would be tremendous over a 50-year period. You're talking about just shy of 10 billion dollars. Mm -hmm. Well, that's entirely too much profit if if that's what we're looking at. Now th there are still a lot of unanswered questions. About about the bridge project and in the coming days we'll be taking a look at some of those unknowns such as why there appears to be no federal money involved in a project on what is essentially a federal highway. Bill Riles, WKRG News 5.